Hello, welcome to Rishad This Real. I am Rishad. This is part 2 of Computer Science Practicals for Second POC. In this session, we will understand the SQL assignment experiment number 18. So, here the assignment is to create a student database and, and compute the result. So, in this assignment, uh, first we are required to create the table uh, student uh, with these given field names and the data types, and then we need to add records into the table for 10 students. For the sake of time save, we will be inserting 5 student records into the table. So second command that we need to uh, write here is to display the description of the table using the disk command and then we need to alter the table to add three new fields to the existing table with the field names total, percentage and result. So fourth command that we have to write here is to compute the result as pass or fail by checking if the student has scored more than 35 marks in each subject. So fifth command to be written here is to list all the contents of the table. Sixth command is to retrieve all records of the table. Anyhow, fifth and sixth both the commands are same. One and the same here. Seventh command that is to be written here is to retrieve only student ID and student name columns from the table. And then so we have to list students who have result as pass. And then we need to list only those students who have result as fail. And then so we uh, are required to count the number of students who have passed. And then we have to count the number of students who have failed. After that, so we need to uh, list the students who have percentage greater than 60 and then finally so we need to sort the table according to the order of uh, student ID. So this is, this is the total assignment uh, given for second view students uh, for practicals. So let us flip back to the Oracle home page and uh, let us do this experiment. Okay, this is the Oracle uh, uh, Tenji home page. So first uh, we are required to create the table. So I'm writing here create table command, create table and table name is here student, field names are student id, the data type uh, number of 4, second field name is student name, and the data type for this field is varchia2 of 25 characters in length, third field is sub 1 marks ok so um, to make it short i am just giving it as sub 1 which holds the subject 1 marks and the data type of this field is number of 2 next sub 2 space number of 2 sub 3 number of 2 comma sub 4 number of 4 sub 5 Space number of so actually here it is number of two and here it is again number of two sub six space number of two okay what I'll uh, what all I have done here is I have written here create table command to create the table with the name student by specifying all the uh, field names and the data types so now so let me select this entire query and click on run ok the table with the name student is now created so next what we have to do is uh, we need to insert the records into the table insert into student values so values are say one one two four and name of the student suppose say Praveen and Marcy has obtained is 88, 78, 89, 92 and 93 and 85 or 86 okay six subject marks so close it keep it semicolon let me select this query and click on run okay one row is inserted similarly so uh, we will be going to insert 5 records totally so one uh, row is already inserted the other 4 records we have to insert in the same way as we have inserted the first record so for the sake of time save so I have the data kept already with me so I am just copying this and pasting it here so one query at a time so we have to select and run in order to insert the record into the table selecting this second query clicking on run again select this and run Insert it, select and click on run select and run ok so let 
uh, to confirm this data is inserted so we have to write select star from student okay you can see here so five records are inserted here the student id is reflecting as same so that is not the problem here uh, just to understand the concept okay so once the data is inserted into the table so the next command what we have to do here is uh, you can look at the question again so after adding the records so then we have to display the description of the fields in the table using the disk command so for this so we simply write desk student select it and click on run so this is the output for this query so you can see here so the description of all the fields in the table so this is the output of the disk command so this just describes the table structure so after this so we need to alter the table to add three new fields to the existing table so for that we need to write alter statement in sql alter table student add is the keyword here add so what are all the fields we are going to add is total and the data type given for this field is number of four sorry number of three okay so and then the next field name is percentage in short i am giving it as perc okay number of two is the data type third field is result and the data type is where care two of 10 close close it again take a semicolon select this query and click on run so the table is altered now so now in the table totally uh, earlier so there were only six plus two means so uh, six plus two eight fields were there now there should be eight plus three total 11 fields in the table to so for the sake of our uh, confirmation so let me run this select star from student query once again you can see here so earlier so there were eight fields now three new fields are added to the table and this we have achieved by writing alter command in sql so the next thing is we need to update this total column percentage column and result column as per the rules which are given in the sql assignment to update the total so we need to write update query update student set total is equals to sub 1 plus sub 2 plus sub 3 plus sub 4 plus sub 5 plus sub 6 where student id is greater than 0 so this condition is here optional new we are going to update the total for all the records in the table so selecting this command and clicking on run so we have got the message that fire was updated so total column is updated so to confirm again so we have to run this select query see uh, the total column has been updated here for all the students so next our task is to update the percentage column by writing the update query in sql update student set perc so that is the name of the field we have specified perc is equals to total divided by 6.0 means the number of uh, subjects okay so again here also there is no uh, condition so regardless of condition means so uh, we are going to update this field for all the records selecting it and run so we have got the message that fire was updated again let us check the table select star from student 
so you can see here the percentage column is updated for all the students so next in the same way so by writing the update command so we have to update the result for all the students this result column so the condition is here so if the student has secured more than 35 marks in all the subjects then the result should be uh, updated with the word pass otherwise if a student uh, has got less than 35 marks in any one of the subject also then the result must be updated with fail okay so for that so we need to write update student command update to student set name of the field we are going to update is result is equals to in bracket pass set update student set result is equals to pass where and the conditions here more than one conditions are there so we need to check all the subject marks all the subject marks should be uh, greater than 30 or equals to 35 marks so here we need to combine the conditions using logical and operator so where sub 1 greater than or equals to 35 and sub 2 greater than or equals to 35 and sub 3 greater than or equals to 35 and sub 4 greater than or equals to 35 and sub 6 sorry sub 5 greater than or equals to 35 and sub 6 greater than or equals to 35 so these are the conditions if all the conditions are satisfying only then the result column will be updated with this uh, given result as pass so because we have used here logical and operator in order to combine all these conditions so select this uh, query and click on run so you can see uh, three rows are updated so there must be only three rows uh, so which are satisfying these all the conditions that we have specified so let us check uh, the data now again by running this select star from students command yes uh, so you can see here so for first to two students and the fourth student the result has updated has been updated as pass and this record is not updated because here so one of the subject marks subject four marks is less than 35 marks so that is not satisfying the condition that we have specified in the query and the fourth record also so here this subject four marks is uh, 34 and subject one marks is uh, specified as 28 so these two so columns are not satisfying the condition so hence it is uh, left at as it is it is not applicable on those two records now our job is to update those uh, students who have failed who have secured less than 35 marks uh, the result column as fail so let me write this again update student set result is equals to fail and the conditions here are where sub 1 less than 35 or remember here we are using the logical or operator to combine the conditions because if any one of the subject uh, marks are less than 35 then we are updating uh, the result as fail if any one of uh, even one field one subject marks is less than 35 so the result should be updated with uh, fail so sub 1 less than 35 or sub 2 less than 35 or sub 3 less than 35 or sub 4 less than 35 or sub 5 less than 35 or sub 6 less than 35 okay so where sub 1 less than 35 or sub 2 less than 35 or sub 3 less than 35 or sub 4 less than 35 or sub 5 less than 35 or sub 6 less than 35 okay that's it so we need to run this query now so select this and click on run two rows updated so earlier so we had seen that three rows were updated now so after running this query we got the message that two rows updated because only there are two rows in our uh, table so that satisfies uh,